the second task we will be creating a digital watch on uh, the LCD so uh, as we did for the seventh segment in this case again uh, this we have created nested loops nested for loops so the most the outermost loop is for basically the tens of the hours so it will go from 0 till 2 so we have created from 0 till 3 will less than 3 a loop will go and we will display the value tail number of uh, value of l and the are counter variable and then again for the ones of the r so it will go from 0 till 9 then uh, again for if then we are in between we have the condition that if as the r the 24 cannot exceed that so if l equals to 2 and m is equal to 4 it should break and for the seconds again from 0 till 6 tens of the second and then for the units of the second 0 till 9 then for the sorry minutes and then for the seconds um, 0 till tens of the second 0 till 5 and then uh, 0 till 9 for uh, uh, the ones of the, the unit of the seconds and um, for uh, 0 till uh, for the seconds to go from 0 till 9 in the we are using the timer zero with uh, on CTC mode, which will go from value zero till uh, nine as we have stored uh, zero x zero nine in the OCR zero A register, and uh, we can see all the all the values to the TCCR zero A and uh, TCR zero B are done in a manner so that it operates at the normal uh, CTC mode. <coughs> and uh, uh, the counter will initialize from value 0 so and here is a file loop which will monitor the OCF 0 f flag uh, until it becomes 1 and here we will be displaying all the, uh, the values in the TC and T register so and uh, the shift function is there for because uh, we want to uh, bring it back to the we have to update the single value similar value again and again for that there is a shift value and after each uh, un uh, digit uh, crosses its limit like the seconds once of the seconds goes from 0 till 9 then we have to change the tens of the seconds also that will require another shift towards the left which will so for that we have added the shift left commands here now let's see the it's running here so uh, here I have given the external clock of 1 second because we need to be getting a watch so it needs to have a delay of 1 second it needs to count the at the frequency of 1 hertz of external clock so which was kept at the TCCR0 settings and let's run this here we can see the uh, hours, hour digits and here are the minutes and here are the seconds and we can see the uh, ones of the seconds updating it's after each second and then the tens of the second and similar this will continue so yeah, th now this is our task 3 uh, which is basically the activity of this lab just when which we are creating uh, an event counter so here is the code in which we are starting we have used timer 0 and uh, ports A and C are set as output and we have kept the settings of, of uh, this timer counter with an external uh, external uh, TC external uh, clock uh, which will be basically the push button that will uh, tell us the event has occurred or not and the button will be pressed and uh, it will count it as an event and update the value of the counter so Here we are monitoring the initializing the LCD and then monitoring the TOV flag. It will count it uh, to 55 events and then it will uh, go back to zero. We are shifting it one space because we need to we want to update the same value and speed on the LCD. That's why so now let's run this simulation here. You can see the its value it's displaying is zero and now as I press one time the button the uh, value is updated to one. Let's try this again. Two. So as um, as many times I uh, press this button, it will.